I'm going to show you a few options on how to bake maps. In this video I'm going to use ZBrush for exporting uh, our model and Substance Painter. So first thing first, let's go to Subtool. I definitely need to work on eyes because for now I only have a small paint. Maybe in next videos. Let's close it for now. Now let's duplicate our model. Perfect. Now let's close paint for now. We don't need them. And this model we're going to rename it Turtle Hi. Enter. And this model we're going to rename it Turtle Low. Now let's go in solo mode and now let's go to geometry and decrease our geometry. So we have our low poly turtle. Now let's go to export desktop and save turtle low. Now we need to go to high poly. We have 7 million, so I do need to reduce it. Let's go to Zap Z plugin, drag it in here. Let's go to decimeter and we can keep UVs if you want. It's not necessary, but let's keep it and press pre process. I'm going to come back when this is finished. Now that prepass is done, I'm going to keep all this number and I'm just pressing decimate current. If we press polyframe and we take a close look, this is done, looking good. Let's see, we have almost three minutes. Perfect. Let's go to export and press save. Now let's go to Substance Painter. I'm going to press file and new. Let's select our low poly mesh. So turtle low, open. I'm going to keep open GD and 4K map, but this doesn't matter because it's non destructive. So let's press OK. Here we go. We have our low poly model. We can go here and we can see 3D and 2D the map. Let's go back to only 3D. We can go to viewer settings and let's see what environment do we have. Uh, I think I will go to keep this one. You can choose another HDR from here. Doesn't matter. Let's go and go opacity zero. Let's go back to texture setting and we are going to go to bake texture. You can bake everything in here or you can press none and choose which one you have want. But let's press again none and bake all of them. So let's go to output and press 4K and let's go to use poly mesh. So we're going to select our turtle high like this. Uh, I'm not going to change the cage file for now and keep everything how it is. Now let's just press bake default texture and we're going to wait our result. By the way I remember the days when I was baking maps using 3ds max or X normal.
took forever preparing the mesh and exporting X normal. And as you can see how fast this substance painter it is. It's just amazing. And this is in real time. Now look at that, in a few minutes we have every detail from high poly to low poly. This looks just amazing. I'm astonished over how fast this substance painter it is on creating maps. Now that we have all these maps we just need to go to file and export texture we're going to set on desktop let's create a new folder call it maps again new folder substance maps select folder and just make sure you can change the png or whatever you want I'm going to keep 8 bits and export. Press OK. And that's it. In a few steps, we have amazing details. These details are from almost 7 million polygons on 7K low poly mesh. Just amazing. I hope you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like it if you find it helpful, see you next time on a new video on a new option on how to bake maps. This uh, substance painter does not bake displacement map, but I'm going to put uh, my video in the description where I bake map using ZBrush. See you next time. Take care.